The primary non-contact mechanism of ACL injury stems from a neuromuscular control issue of the lower extremity joints that allows the knee to rotate or bend inwards called dynamic knee valgus. A simplified measurement of this angle is overlaid on the left. The ACL tube consists of a form-fitting thigh sleeve containing two buttresses that place topical pressure on the thigh muscles to enhance the athlete's awareness and control of knee alignment and movement. The immediate effects of the ACL tube on knee alignment and motion can be visualized with the performance of two simple movements, a single leg squat and a single leg landing. After the athlete performs these movements with only the sleeve of the ACL tube, the buttresses are appropriately placed and then the athlete walks a short distance and repeats the two movements. This field demonstration is of a young female athlete without a history of injury that normally presents dynamic knee valgus during athletic performance. The video on the left is a front view of a single leg squat performed with the sleeve only and the video on the right is of the same athlete performing the squat with the sleeve and buttresses after walking a short distance. On the left you can visualize the athlete's hips and knees rotating inwards in a poor vertical knee alignment whereas on the right improved movement control and vertical knee alignment that yields a 71% reduction in the dynamic knee valgus angle while performing with the buttresses in the ACL tube. Landing on a single leg from a horizontal distance equal to one leg length further demonstrates these improved leg movements but also provides a visualization of the relationship between knee valgus and dynamic trunk control. On the left, the video shows that poor vertical knee alignment also coincides with the trunk rotating inwards and down presenting a challenge to, to dynamic balance, whereas on the right, improved leg and trunk movement control coincides with improved dynamic balance and an 80% reduction in the dynamic knee valgus angle. From this field demonstration, we can conclude that wearing the ACL2 with the buttresses during these two dynamic tasks enhance the athlete's awareness control of knee alignment and movement. And please visit www.topicalgear.com for more information.